Well, we're in the attic. We are. That means it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last week, if you recall, and if you watched that brilliant episode, we looked at uh, the Slant 6 engine. And uh, that was just one of many, 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 many engine kits. And I think it had been inspired by, but I'm not entirely sure, Renwall's Visible V8. Oh. Now, Renwall was an interesting company in the late 50s and, and the early 60s for making their visible kits. They were making all these kits out of clear plastic. And their big hit was the Visible Man and the Visible Woman. I remember the Visible Man. My friend's brother had <laughs> one. As a kid, I kind of would mispronounce. I thought it was the Invisible Man, yes. and I thought it was like a model of Claude Rains or something. <laughs> I, I misunderstood the intent. Yes. But it's this clear guy where you can see all of his gutty wets and, mm, and uh, his innards, his his inside stuff, and yes. his brain and everything, and, and you got the model all that. So of yes. course I built that, and then there was the Visible Woman. Oh. And then she came with a with a complete fetus that you could install if you wanted to. It was install a fetus. Yes, there was parts that you could remove and replace. I had a whole new belly that went on. Uh, Renwall, and uh, and then they did a visible dog. They did a visible horse. They did, but they did all these different visible. And then at some point in time, they decided to do a visible V8 engine. That's better. And that's way better. And <laughs> the zygote. No. Here it is, the visible V8 ah. engine. Let me see if I can kind of get that more in frame. Um, it was a huge hit for them. Nice. And uh, it it wasn't that accurate of a kit. The Slant Six kit that we looked at was accurate right down to the compression versus oil rings wow. in the pistons and the, you know, I mean, just, huh? Yeah. Every little detail. This is just sort of a generic V8 engine. Mm -hmm. It's not shaped like any specific V8 engine, mm -hmm. but it goes, goes around. And because it's all made out of clear parts, then you can see the see in, internal on. workings. Mm -hmm. We looked at an earlier show about the the monogram uh, PE62, their little one eight scale V8 engine that had clear parts. It even had a blower that was clear so you could watch the compressor going around. So this stuff was all a rage and boy did it take off. Jeez, it became so popular to build engines. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't you, you think, think, think of it. My friend's brother had one of those too because I can remember watching the pistons going up and down and that was the birth of when I became interested in how engines work. Well, oddly, you know, this was more popular than the Slant 6, mm -hmm. even though the Slant 6 was a much more accurate kit. Yes. This was an easier build. Right. And it was really more, all of the Ren walls were meant to be educational models, mm -hmm. to literally be used in science classes and so on, hence, mm -hmm. you know, the visible man and so on. Right. What we have here is the spleen and, you know, that kind of thing. So, um... That was that was kind of their niche, and when they branched out into doing an engine, but hugely popular, mm -hmm. biggest model they'd ever done, not in terms of physical size, but in terms of the market. Right. It's got lots and lots of really neat parts, but like I say, it's a it's an easy build, mm -hmm. and when you get it all done, you just push the go button, and it goes around and around and around. Mm. The Slant 6, quite often, you'd push the button, and it would sort of bind, and, and then you'd go in there, and you'd lubricate the bearings, because everything had the same kind of tolerances that you'd find in a real engine, oh, wow. because it, it was based on a real engine. Yeah, it could really start and run. <laughs> this guy was sloppy. I mean, the pistons are up and yes. down in the cylinders and the connecting rods on the crankshaft. So everything was just loose and... And so making it go round and round was, was actually very, very simple. Mm -hmm. and which, as an educational model, was, was critical right. to making this thing work. 
Yeah. But uh, what fun, and I'll bet they turned up in automotive shop classes. I and, imagine so. Uh, but the, the, the average, I think it was just people like us. Right. I think the box, I mean, you can tell it's a little bit dated by the father on this. He's I smoking swear a it's pipe. The, <laughs> the same father and son that are building the big T. It probably is. On the front of the monogram big T. Oh. I mean, the guy's got the pipe. I think it's probably stock footage if there's such a thing. I, but... That was that they were was famous. Something they did in the '60s. The dad yes. with his intellectual with his pipe. pipe. Today, be, mm, mm, no, 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 you no, don't, no. you don't go no, there. No. And the kid, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you know, and yeah. he's got the crew cut and the whole thing. So, yes. Um, but but they knew who was buying these. Yes, of course. Was the guy here with the pipe? And half the time, the guy with the pipe was also going to be the one that really wanted to build it and everything. And while it was being bought for the kid, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's like how many model trains were bought for the kid? Unless it was my brother and he had his hands like everywhere my dad would be trying to shine something, Kevin's like, Nye. But it's like Pinewood <laughs> Derbies. <laughs> I that just, too. I wonder that how too. many Pinewood Derbies were ever actually just built by the kid. Yeah. And how many of them were built by the dads. Most well, of them, of course, were built entirely by the dads. A lot of them come out, the kid's the like, dads. look what I got. And it's like, oh, no, we've got to do that again. Well, we digress. <laughs> this, is, this is such a neat kit. This is an original release, and it has been subsequently released and re-released and re-released. And for some reason, I don't know the history of it, Renwall went broke and or was just acquired by Revel uh, because they were profitable. I don't know which way it went, but they were acquired by Revel. And that's been confusing for people who think, no, that was a Revel kit. No, it was a Renwall kit. No, you're just mispronouncing that. It's a Re No, they were Renwall. Renwall in the beginning. Renwall in the beginning, and then they did become Revel or Revel, depending Revel, on Revel. who you're talking to. I've and heard it pronounced both, both ways. Both ways. Depends and on what part of the country you come from. And now all that stuff is there's that combination of, of Revel monogram. And, mm -hmm. uh, everything's been merged in one gigantic corporation. And, and I, I'm pretty sure this little guy's still available. Not in this box, of course. Well, there it is. <laughs> wow. A, a lot of fun. And just yeah. one of many, many, just hundreds, I'll bet, of engines that were made. Kits of engines, motors, all sorts of things. I wanted one. Oh, I did. I, uh, I want And I to this day, one, I've been I buying wanted. them all. I, you know, and here they are scattered around the shop. But uh, I love an engine kit. They're just so fun to build. Yeah. Especially when everything works and the valves go up and go down up and, and down. the pistons go up and down and the camshaft works. And you can, anyway, we digress. <laughs> well, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because it, it makes you cool. And that's the number one thing is you want to be cool and you want to be able to tell people, yes, I clicked on the blue button. And, uh, and here's your opportunity, <laughs> if you haven't already done so, to click the blue button. Are we ready? <laughs> right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this interesting educational film on the internet. <laughs> we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with some driving around. <laughs> see, ya. see ya. Bye. Bye-bye.